everybody, welcome back to another season recap. I'm here with Coach Carlisle from the men's golf team. How are you doing today? Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So, can you give us a few highlights from this season? Uh, certainly, it's, uh, it was a good season. Our regular season is quite good. It's disappointing the way to end up in the region tournament, but this team did a great job. They really improved from the fall to the spring. As I've never seen a team improve that much. End of our fall season, we were probably in the top 25 rankings, and we ended up in the spring ranked number six. So they really improved the entire way. Uh, we had some great performances. We had great senior leadership, Axel Ustinson and Johnson Holiday. They really worked hard, played well. August Linval had a great fall, a little slow start to the spring, but he got better as the spring went on. And then we had Dan Sheehan and George Eubank, who worked really hard, and they won the fourth and fifth spots. So we, uh, we really had a lot of good tournaments in the spring, a lot of uh, tournaments that really led me to believe this team had a chance to win the national mm -hmm. championship. Uh, we finished third in our tournament, beat a bunch of good Division I teams. We finished fourth at Augusta's tournament. The only teams that beat us over there were Illinois, Wake Forest and University of Houston. So we beat a lot of good teams there. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the conference championship and uh, set a Peach Belt record, shooting the lowest round ever in the history of the Peach Belt, and easily won that event. So this team really showed me a lot. But when we got to the region championship, we were just rusty. We didn't have it. We didn't play well. And uh, being in the most difficult region in the entire country, mm -hmm. if you don't play well there, you're not going to advance to the postseason. So uh, very disappointed, especially for Axel and Johnson, because they worked so hard. And in their career here, they only got to play in one actual national championship where we made it to match play and contend for a national title. And those are two of the best players we've had in the history of our program. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was a little bit disappointing, but we had a lot of great events in the spring, won two tournaments. Uh, we won at Cuscawilla, which is by far and away the hardest Division II tournament in the entire country. We won that one wire to wire. We beat all those teams that we lost to in the region championship. So we showed there early on that we were a team to contend with, but we just were not able to contend it, uh, continue on to the postseason. Well, y'all winning the Peach Belt Conference, what did that mean for you and your team? Well, it just gave us a little more boost, a little more confidence, the fact that we won pretty much wire to wire, led it the whole way, got a lead, held on to it, set a record along the way. It just did more to boost their confidence. You know, Being an individual sport, it's not so much the interaction of the team as any other sport where somebody can play defense one time, mm -hmm. they can pass the next time, or hit, or you know, do something else that will help the team. It's all individual effort. So individually, everybody's got to contribute to the team to give them a sense of being a part of a team and being part of a successful team. Right. So y'all had a solid performance on home courses where your team had several talented Division One teams. How did that help propel your team over the final few weeks of the regular season? Once again, just contributed to our, our self-confidence and our team unity and the fact that they started believing in themselves that they could play with anybody. You know, they would get a lead and they would hold on to it. It's hard to do. Uh, they would get be in a good position like in our tournament. We were in third place going into the last round and we're playing with Augusta and University of Virginia. And we held on to third place. We held off the other Division I teams. We didn't falter at all. So mm -hmm. they were really showing how tough they were mentally and physically uh, to be able to get a lead and hang on to it. It's very hard to do. So you said that y'all improved a bunch going into the spring. So tell us a little bit about that, the difference between the fall and the spring. Sure. Our, the two Division II tournaments we played in the fall, we played very poorly. We finished like ninth and 10th place out of 18 teams in those two tournaments is really bad. The two Division One tournaments we play in, we finished third and fourth for whatever reason. I don't know. We just didn't play well. Uh, but, you know, Axel worked hard. Johnson worked hard. Uh, August continued his good play. And, and we had Dan and George come along and, and go ahead and grab that fourth and fifth spot. And they just staked their claim to those positions and said they're going to be the guys that are going to represent USC Aiken in the spring. And they worked hard and got better. And that led to that success. Okay, so two of the top five in USC Aiken history for lowest scoring averages were Johnson and Axel. What do they mean to the team throughout their career? Um, consistency, leadership, especially this last year as being our two seniors, they were great leaders. Uh, they both played well individually. Axel moved up to be the number two ranked Division II player in the country, and Johnson was the number six ranked Division II player in the country. So. Uh, golf being a numbers game mm -hmm. and the statistical analysis done with those numbers, it's pretty solid and pretty consistent. And they both moved up the ranks and stayed in those positions. So uh, it's a testament to all the work they put in and how they were able to motivate their teammates to contribute also. 
That must have been really exciting just to kind of see and be a part of all that happen. Absolutely. So August had a very solid season. What are your thoughts on him and expectations for him coming off this good year? Well, we're looking for him next year to be our senior leader next year. And uh, it's a role he is looking forward to. He relishes that opportunity to do that. Uh, he's a good team member. He motivates his team members, uh, works hard with them. So I'm looking forward to having him in that role. And he's got some big shoes to fill that mm -hmm. Axel and Johnson are leaving him. Okay, so Dan also has played in several tournaments in the last two seasons. Tell us a little bit about his improvements and your expectations for him. Sure. Dan works very hard. He's, he's uh, got the kind of game that can produce some low scores, which contribute to the team uh, score. He's just got to get to where he can have more consistent, complete events. Mm -hmm. He had a couple good complete events, a couple of good finishes this spring. He played well at Augusta uh, and a couple others. Uh, I look for him to get a little more consistency, a uh, little better ball striking, I think, hit more greens in regulation, and I think that will lead him to be a better player next year. Okay. So you had a few freshmen in the lineup. Um, so tell us a little about the growth of them going into their sophomore season. Sure. They uh, top uh, Cam Nark and George Eubank, the two freshmen that played for us this year. And uh, they both came in as good players. They learned a lot this year. They got used to – being away from home and having to do laundry and all that adjustment <laughs> there and actually having to study a little bit in school, a little bit different than high school. And they made a good adjustment there. They made good grades, uh, worked hard, and looking forward to the next three years of them playing. Okay, so Axel had the second lowest single season average in school history behind Scott Brown in 2005 and 2006, and Johnson was sixth in the season. So reflecting on that a little bit, what are your thoughts? Well, my first thought, that's going to be hard to replace.